Sir, up to the moving of this motion. <clears throat> I have been called upon to resign as the Prime Minister of our beloved country. This call, Mr. Speaker, was made by the Leader of the Opposition, the Premier of Malaita Province, and various other individuals after they conveniently arranged uh, for their supporters, Mr. Speaker, to burn the town. In my past address, Mr. Speaker, to, this, to the nation, during the past few days, I made my position clear. And I heard Mr. Speaker, he was still mourning and groaning and lamenting over that decision. This is so a very important call, which the people of this country must understand why I made the decision not to give in to the call by the leader of the opposition. Please indulge me in explaining our system of government, and I want to take it from the constitution of our beloved country. The preamble, Mr. Speaker, to the constitution of our beloved Solomon Islands states, we, the people of Solomon Islands, proud of the wisdom and worthy customs of our ancestors, mindful of our common and diverse heritage, and conscious of our common destiny, do now, under the guiding hand of God, establish the sovereign democratic state of Solomon Islands. And as a basis of our united nation, declare that all power in Solomon Islands belongs to its people and is exercised on their behalf by the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary established by this constitution. The preamble, Mr. Speaker, further states that our government shall be based on democratic principles of universal suffrage. The preamble, Mr. Speaker, clearly states that the power of the people is exercised on their behalf by the legislature, executive, and judiciary. We had our national general elections in 2019, Mr. Speaker, when the whole country went to the polls and elected their members of parliament who now represent them in parliament. This national general election, Mr. Speaker, was the exercise of the democratic principles of universal suffrage. After the national general elections, Mr. Speaker, the member of parliament elected their prime minister. And I was elected as the prime minister, Mr. Speaker, and if memory serves me correct, 35 ballots were cast and one was spoiled. So I got 34 votes, Mr. Speaker. The honorable leader of the opposition now walked out of the election and as a result, he got zero votes. This result, Mr. Speaker, will go down the history of our democracy. Because for the first time, and probably only time, a candidate who contested the office of the Prime Minister polled zero votes. That speaks volume, Mr. Speaker, about the attitude of this man. So he boycotted the, the election of the Prime Minister because he did not have the support. And he just could not accept that, Mr. Speaker. And as we all know, a riot followed after my election as the Prime Minister. Observation by the member for a small mullet. Every time they die, they, this man is elected, you may go and riot now, Mr. Speaker. But this is, should uh, say something, Mr. Speaker. Your guess, Mr. Speaker, is as good as mine as to who was behind that riot in 2019. Sir, I was democratically elected to be your Prime Minister in accordance with our Constitution, the Supreme Law of the land. Mr. Speaker, I will not turn to why I did not resign. 
When the call was made for me to resign, Mr. Speaker, I had the support of 37 MPs. A few have since resigned because of various reasons. As I speak now, I still have the, the support of the majority of the House. So why should I resign? The answer is very simple, Mr. Speaker. It is because I was elected by the members of Parliament. Sir. The members of Parliament represent their people. And our people elected me through their members of Parliament. Therefore, sir, I will not resign upon calls made by any individuals or groups because it is not them, sir, who elected me as the Prime Minister. And I have not done anything wrong, Mr. Speaker, as the Prime Minister, and I still command the support of the majority of the MPs despite what these are, uh, the members on the other side of what think and say. Motion moved by the leader of the opposition did not even state to the grounds uh, why I should be removed by vote of the Congress. I may do him later on. I may do him during the. Uh, I need to qualify that statement, Mr. Speaker. We just heard these reasons on the floor, and uh, you're making rulings, please, sir. You may have him that one. Uh, I was going to pursue that further to, to the courts, and. Or maybe, maybe that will be a, probably a good idea. So later on, let me just get him caught for, for answering some of the questions that I want him to let me set him some kind of precedence. So. Interestingly, sir, they are uh, very personal against the Prime Minister, for the reasons you may have him, especially by the member of Small Malaysia. In accusing me of corruption, Mr. Speaker, they or he, <coughs> since uh, me now is the target of this motion, and when it comes to what the other side are saying, Mr. Speaker, the bark also stops with him, Mr. Speaker. In doing that, in accusing me of corruption, Mr. Speaker, he is attempting to tarnish my character, something that I will not allow him to do. And for the reason, Mr. Speaker, I will also put his character on the line, and I will do that a little later. The call for me to resign, Mr. Speaker, and this motion, sir, was made against the backdrop of an illegal attempted coup. Violence, intimidation, and fear. These actions, Mr. Speaker, are illegal and unlawful. It was an attack on the principles of democracy and the rule of law. I cannot in good conscience, Mr. Speaker, resign and bow down to the forces of evil. And when we are under attack by forces of evil, Mr. Speaker, we must stand up for what is right. We must stand up to this tyranny. We cannot entertain violence being used, Mr. Speaker, to tear down a democratically elected government. As Edmund Burke said, when bad men combine, the good must associate, else they will fall, one by one. And I'm an uh, unpeated sacrifice in a contemptible struggle, end of quote. To all men, women, youths, and children, this is the time to stand united. We must never fail, never fall into the trap of those who want to advance their own selfish agenda under the guise of democracy. I will defend, Mr. Speaker, the principles of democracy and the rule of law, no matter the cost. Sir. I lost all my properties. But I took that stand. And I thank God for giving me the strength to do the right thing.